And so, ladies and gentlemen, your next fight of the evening to be fought over three three minute rounds under amateur mixed martial arts rules in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he enters the cage with a mixed martial arts record of one victory, one defeat. Representing KC Fight Base and Hammer, Mark Smith. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, enters the cage with a mixed martial arts record of two victories, one defeat. Representing Team Fulkinazan, Jack Kenny. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Neil Hall. This fight is brought to you by Rolling Calf Gym Wear for the fearless athlete. You can visit them on Facebook at Rolling Calf Gym Wear. Fourth fight of the evening here at FCC 16. Jack Gunning taking on Mark Smith. 155 pounds, amateur division. Three three minute rounds if they need them. Smith in the red, Gunning in the blue with white and red trim. And a confident start from both men. Smith taking one on the chin there. Nice low kick to answer back. Needs to keep that guard up though, does Smith, Jess? Yeah, he does. Both guys eager to exchange early and stamp their mark on this fight. Smith had uh, a nice early jab. Looks like he wanted to stand and trade, and uh, <laughs> Gunny is coming right back at him with his own. Smith uh, looking to clinch up, but just wasn't quick enough to stop those punches coming in. He's already showing signs of damage on the right side of his face. Gets a nice right hand of his own in there, though. Nice combination, three punches in quick succession there from Jack Gunning going upstairs and downstairs, really working his man from tip to toe. Yeah, good follow-up knees, but a good one-two combination to the body by Gunning. Very quick hands, lightning hands, in fact. Both men bloodied up here early on. Nice hands, as you say, Jess, from Gunning. He goes in with a knee to the breadbasket too, but it's Mark Smith here connecting the hands, looking to scoop his man for a double leg takedown right in front of his own corner. Yeah, yeah but like you said, Brad, both guys taking some damage, but it's Smith who gets it to the canvas first. Let's see what Mark Smith can do from this top position. He's right in his own corner, so coaches there, including Hammers, Sean Martin, who's experience on FCC is a coach and a fighter. Shanning instructions got to be wary of the armbar here. The gunning's done well. He's got those legs round the head. That arm is in deep, well past the elbow. Smith's going to be very careful. That was a really, really slow climb for that armbar. He's let it go now. Surprising that he's let it go. Really, really surprising there by uh, Gunning. Excellent Not position, but. Uh, Potentially felt it was uh, in a compromised position. It's difficult to see from where we are in the commentary. Not much room to manoeuvre with your man pinned against the cage like that. Smith still on top now though. Got to be wary of the Kimura opportunity on the far side for that Kimura. Could be used to submission or to sweep. And one real benefit that uh, Smith's having here is, like you said before Brad, he's right in his corner, getting clear directions from Sean Martin and his team. Nice punches there from Smith, scoring points, doing damage. But so far, quite an equal contest by both of these athletes, Brad. Both demonstrated a good, a good, a good exchange, good technique on the feet and likewise on the ground. But it looks like Smith, who really is taking the edge in this round one. End of round one. And as you say, Jess, a very interesting one for our judges to think about. Perhaps on the measure of things on the feet, it was Jack Gunning. He saw some nice combinations to the head and to the body really mixed up his shots well and it really can't be said enough how important these body shots are as we go into the second and third round and the stamina starts to come into play and the cardio starts to wear down those body shots will all add up however you've got to flip it as well in terms of actual cage control in terms of effective grappling we've perhaps got to say that mark smith had the measure of his man towards the end of that round he also landed some nice strikes from top position so certainly an interesting one for our judges to consider here jez 
Absolutely, Brad. Absolutely. But a, a good demonstration of technique um, from both fighters. An interesting, uh, an interesting match. This it really is, and it's poised excellently for the second round. So it really could be anyone's first frame, Jez. So certainly all to play for here as we go into this second round between Jack Gunning and Mark Smith. One of the most experienced referees on the scene and one of the best, Neil Hall. Calls for a start to the action. Six minutes left to play within this fight if they need them. Smith looking to make an early start here again as he did with the first round. Smith has to be careful though when he clinches up. He's taking shots even in the clinch. The short range body punches and uppercuts from Jack Gunning really have been exceptional so far in this fight. That's Gunning Gunning's, Gunning's smart, fighting a smart fight, looking to get some distance and exchanging. But it's Smith who comes in again, obviously looking to see if he can take this fight back onto the ground where he had some success in round one. Now we talked about the body punches uh, from Jack Gunning in the first round. Smith perhaps looking to lean on his man and wear him out here in the second, but he's, he's taken him down to the mat now, or rather it was a jump guard almost from Jack Gunning. He's got a hold of that neck. It'd be very, very strange to see him finish the guillotine from this position. There's not really anything there in terms of leverage from the half guard or side control. If he can get full guard, he might have an opportunity, but Smith here switching to north-south. Yeah, good technique there by Smith. He's really patient, really wasn't concerned at all by that potential guillotine. He didn't see the threat, didn't, wasn't concerned, and he's now got a good position here. Just needs to be patient, wait for the opportunity. It might look to try and step round Interesting to see if he tries and opens up the opportunity to take the back. Looks content to sit and hammer away here. Nice roll into side control there from Jack Gunning just to disrupt that flow of strikes there from Smith. But this is where we see Smith really stamp some authority because that side control, he can do a lot from there. And it's my favourite position. I've always said it. You see some guys who are too eager to step into mount, but Smith being sensible here. However... Working the Kimura there from that top position. The key lock, rather. Got to be very, very careful. He's, he's gripped the wrist. Doesn't have enough leverage on it now, but he's going to take the back here, surely, and he does. One hook in from Mark Smith. Will he get another? No, he rolls straight into full mount. Smith needs to posture up here now, and Gunning really gave him that posture up position. Didn't really put much effort into closing the distance. He has now, Jez. Yeah, but good work there from Gunning, recognised the threat, trying to close the gap, but Smith doing well. Gunning's got to buck out from here because he's taken a lot of damage. Referee Neil Hall looking at this very closely, Brad. Punch is raining in here from Mark Smith. Gunning not really doing enough. Mark Smith with the TKO win in the second round. Took a few shots to start this fight, but really, Jez, he asserted his dominance at the end of the first, again in the second, and a steady stream of ground and pound. That was all she wrote. Yeah, really smart fight there by Smith. He weathered a bit of storm at an early point in round one, but to be honest, I did feel that he really controlled that fight. It was smart from him. He was very patient, waited for the right opportunities, and when they came, finished his fire. He'll be really pleased with that, and he takes his record now to two and one. Fight us to centre, please. And so, ladies and gentlemen, at a time of 2 minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, your winner by TKO in the red corner, Mark Smith. And let's hear it for his opponent, let's hear it for Jack Gunning.